Welcome back, everybody, to your friend, Ben. Welcome back to Ramble Gaming. It's actually what we do, not your friend. This is the classics, and our next game is Balloon Fight, another arcade-style NES game. We're just getting all those out of the way, aren't we? Except we're really not. So, Balloon Fight is a game featuring a balloon fighter. Look at him with his little balloon. Uh, as you can see, it's in some ways actually pretty similar to Mario Bros. Um, you got two players, or one player. There's like two types of- oh, there's actually three types of games. There's also the balloon trip mode. <clears throat> mm. And your goal is to basically pop the bird men enemies before they pop you. Or before your friend pops you also. So, uh, oh wow. This game goes straight into it, huh? So, yeah, you just have to pop- land on them, get a, a, you get a hit. Oh, and then you have to knock them out, don't you? Yeah, you can knock them out. It is a lot like Mario Bros. And also, by the way, speaking of the connection between this game and Mario Bros, uh, both appear as a stage in Super Smash Bros. Uh, Ultimate, with the Mario Bros. stage originating. Oh yeah, and there's a the fish below. Yeah. Uh, both... <coughs> So the Mario Bros, okay, both are stages in Super Smash Bros. that are based completely on their original, like, arcade slash NES appearances, graphic style and all, and you can go off stage like this in the ultimate versions of both. I just got killed by the fish. Um, yeah, the Mario Bros. stage originated in a Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and the Balloon Fight stage originated in Super Smash Bros. for... 3DS. And they're cool stages. Not for everybody, though. Certainly not legal. I died. Game over. Uh, as you can see, I'm struggling a bit with this game. That's okay. It's to be expected. I mean, again, playing a bunch of NES games. I'm not great at these games. I never pretended to be. Okay. Alright, I guess B also has you go up, but you go up fast. Did not know that. That's important to know, though, because... Ba-bam! And damn. Bam. Not damn. Oh, we have lots of boys this time. I'm so fucking dead. Alright, that's okay. It's fine, it's fine. I can win. I can still win. Alright. Okay. Well, we got one. And I'll take that as a win. Let's go. Alright, we got... Uh, the balloon... Uh, the bubbles, I think it's just... Not sure if there's anything else. That went quite poorly. And let's go again. Got one more life. Just kill him while he's down. Alright, come down. Come down, buddy. Alright, cool. And let's take you out next. And yeah, let's take you out too. Okay, come down. Okay, cool. And one last one. Oh, and lightning can strike from the clouds. As as it does. I mean, those aren't cumulonimbus clouds. They're just little baby cumuli, but whatever. And he's just gonna go die in the water. As you do, because there's mega fish. They also appear in Smash Brawl on the summit stage. Okay, I see what we're doing here. No, no, no. Okay, I'm dead. Well, we got a new high score. Good for us. Good for us. How are we doing on time? Alright, let's do Balloon Trip. The second major mode, which is a very different type of game, but honestly, I like it better. This is a cooler game. Style, because it's more unique. I mean, this is unlike the others we have played so far today. Uh, it's harder, I would say, but I prefer it. I prefer it. Ooh, that's a brutal way to go. You see this little skeleton, it's weird. So, according to uh, Masahiro Sakurai... Ah, uh, this is rough. <laughs> according to Masahiro Sakurai, uh, he considered including the Balloon Fighter as a playable character in Super Smash Bros. Melee, but thought against it and went with Ice Climbers instead. Uh, he was considering a bunch of different characters based on the NES. 
Balloon Fighter was one of them. But he went with the Ice Climbers instead! Oh lord. Okay. This is tough. This is tough. I'm just gonna do this, actually. I'd rather do this than play Balloon Fight, honestly. Balloon Trip's more fun. But still, I mean... Although, I will say, unlike Ice Climber, this game actually did get a sequel. Uh, Balloon Kid on the Game Boy. I've never played that or even seen anybody play it or heard anyone talk about it. So, I mean, you know. Uh, something this reminds me of is honestly, like, Flappy Bird. It's a little Flappy Bird-esque, isn't it? Honestly, Nintendo, after Flappy Bird went down, should have just ported this game <laughs> to I uh, uh, or, uh, that mobile. Honestly, and just marketed it as, like, the original Flappy Bird. It probably could have done pretty well. But oh well. At this point, Flappy Bird's a relic. Its own little piece of weird uh, copyright infringing history. Alright. Oh, I can feel the pain. Okay. This is tough. <clears throat> well, I'm trying, right? You have to give me points for trying. Okay, now we're moving again. This is significantly further than we've gotten so far. And we just have to restart. That's brutal. That's like NES brutal. The NES in general is a brutal console. Also, like being honest here, in some as someone who grew up in the era of, like, the Nintendo GameCube and DS and Game Boy Advance. I could not imagine releasing this game as a full-priced game, which I know they did for the uh, NES Classics on the Game Boy Advance, but my point still stands, like, there is not a lot to this game. I can't imagine releasing this for, what did the game sell back then? Like, 90 or some shit? Like, insane amounts. Like, we're pretty lucky with the way games cost now. I mean, yeah, like, 90 then, it would be well over 100 now. I don't know the inflation rates between, like, 1980 and 2020, but... It's 2021, but whatever. This game came out in, like, 85, I want to say. So, based on the other games we've played over these last few weeks, you can really tell just how mind-blowingly advanced Super Mario Brothers was. Like, this and Ice Climber were its contemporaries. And Super Mario Bros. is a full game. I mean, like, seriously. That's like a game that, you know, with a distinct beginning and end and replay value, well, these games have replay value, but colorful backgrounds, a semblance of a plot. Um... Meanwhile, here's Balloon Fight, we're just hanging out. It's just a pure arcade game. Like, Super Mario Bros. was worth, I would say, every bit what it cost in 1985. This game, though, even by the standards of the 80s... Of 80s video games, I don't know. I don't know. I will say though, more so than the other games we've played so far, this mode right here, this this balloon trip mode, is pretty well suited for the traditional uh, ramble gaming. Just me, just talking about whatever comes to mind, getting going on this tangent. So I do appreciate this. 
overall, I I have enjoyed the games I've played in this session. There's fish now. In this session, I've done this in Mario Bros. so far. Um, this has been fun. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna stop now because we are just about done. So, look at that logo. What a logo. We'll let the demo go as I give my outro. So, that's been Balloon Fight. Our next installment in the classic series. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw here, if you liked me failing a balloon trip for a little while, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye, guys.